Hey there, welcome to Wildly Domestic. Um, today we're going to do a, a brief overview of the chakra system. Um, I did mention chakras uh, briefly in my, uh, my float tank video, just about locationally where they are in your body, but we're going to do uh, a little bit more in depth uh, today just to kind of give you a brief idea of what each of them does. Um, I would like to, uh, in a future video, go um, go a little bit deeper into uh, how you can uh, heal and how different uh, how they can affect different uh, um, different parts of your your everyday and all that kind of stuff. But for now, we're just going to do a a quick little uh, overview of what the different chakras do. So, um, as I said before, first you have your root chakra, which is down in your uh, perineal coccyx area, right down at the base of your torso. Um, this is represented by the color red, or um, anything like sort of like brown or dark colors like that. Uh, this chakra, um, emotionally, it can make you feel very grounded. Uh, it has to do with issues of um, security, uh, emotional security, and things like that, and also feeling like you have enough. Uh, feeling like as and money and things like that, so you're not scrambling around, feeling like you're 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 having a difficult time thriving or surviving. Um, physically, uh, because this is kind of rooted down in, in the lower part of your body, uh, it does have to do with anything relating to uh, feet or legs or anything like that, as well as um, uh, bones, because um, it is since it is grounding, uh, it is related to the uh, earth element. And so anything having to do with like minerals and bones and things like that are related to the uh, root chakra. Um, as well as uh, reproduction, reproduction and um, elimination, so urination, defecation, that kind of thing. Um, so moving upwards, our second chakra is the, soul, uh, the sacral chakra. Uh, this is represented by the color orange, so any sort of orange stones like amber or orange foods would be uh, beneficial for this chakra. Um, this is represented by an element of water because uh, with the with this chakra, it's um, it focuses on issues of uh, sexuality and creativity and things like that. So uh, and it kind of has to do with sort of being able to go with the flow and things like that. So that's why it's related to water. Um, physically, it's, uh, it is part of the reproductive organs. Now, um, actual reproduction itself is um, highlighted in the root chakra, but uh, expression of sexuality and, and sexual desire, that's in the sacral chakra. That's how it's related to that. Uh, it's also related to digestion, so any sort of uh, issues you might have with uh, um, you know, lower lower stomach pain or appendicitis or or IBS or Crohn's or anything like that is usually related to the sacral chakra. Uh, as I said, it's also related to creativity. So anytime it feels kind of like you have a a creative block, then that's something that you that's an area that you would want to work on. Uh, third chakra is solar plexus. Solar plexus is represented by the color yellow and as it says in the name solar plexus um, it uh, has to do with like, the sun and, and fire and, and, and things like that so um, with fire it does have to do with issues of um, personal power and control and sort of and your drive and your ambition. Um, physically it has to do with uh, any sort of actual like stomach or, or uh, muscular issues as well. So uh, a lot of times if you feel like you have like like an acidy stomach or heartburn or something like that, that's related to the solar plexus chakra. Um, moving upwards and we have the heart chakra. Heart chakra is represented by the color green and also by the color pink. Um, obviously heart chakra is related to a circulatory system and your heart as well as uh, the muscles in your in your upper back that whole physical area right there because um, I, I know when I have uh, when I have a lot of tension there sometimes it's like when I'm working on my heart chakra I can really feel the tension loosen up so um, obviously it deals with issues of love and emotions and acceptance of other people and things like that and, and um, relate how you relate to other people and relationships um, 
physically it also has to do with um, lungs and breathing and air so that's why uh, and air is usually the the element related to the heart chakra um, moving up once more to the fifth chakra the throat chakra um, obviously since it's, this is throat it has to deal with issues of expression and and making your voice be heard so if you feel like you're not being heard or if you always bite your tongue and kind of find yourself having to censoring what you say all the time or uh, having issues with communicating with other people that's a chakra that you would need to want uh, need to work with uh, it is represented by the color blue and uh, its element isn't so much a, a physical element but it's more uh, sound which makes sense because it's, since we're dealing with communication here that element would be sound um, Physically, any sort of issues with uh, upper bronchial, uh, upper respiratory system, um, your teeth, your mouth, uh, your lips, your throat, uh, even up into your sinuses and your ears, because since that's all part of your upper respiratory system, that's related to that. And uh, moving upwards, uh, we have the third eye chakra. Um, the third eye chakra is usually represented by kind of a a purpley blue color, kind of like an indigo, sometimes a little bit more purple, sometimes a little bit more blue, depending on um, where you're looking at your information. But um, the third eye chakra has to do with uh, vision. So not just uh, actual uh, external vision, which, which is the element that is associated with the vision, seeing sight, um, light actually, um, but also uh, intuitional vision. So if you're having issues uh, not being able to trust your intuition or feeling like you're kind of off when it comes to uh, evaluating people or situations or if you're having any sor sorts of weird dreams or anything like that, usually it's uh, third eye is something that you're going to want to work with. Um, physically it does have to do with uh, obviously your eyes. Um, often headaches because uh, and, and any sort of light sensitivity or anything having to do with that because um, because it is its element is light. Uh, lastly, we have the crown chakra up on top of your head. Uh, this is usually uh, a more of a violet kind of but a clearish violet because I've also seen it represented by um, like a clear like crystal kind of thing because like if for for crystal work it would be quartz would be a good crown chakra stone. Um, this has to do with uh, how you relate to others because your crown chakra is is basically you putting your energy out into the universe so I mean because you're speaking your energy you're speaking your energy and your truth from here and you're relating to people from here but, but it has to come up through everything and then when when it actually comes out it's coming out through your crown chakra so issues relating with people um, issues, uh, sometimes spiritual issues, uh, when you feel like you're, you're seeking things, you're seeking higher consciousness, or anything like that, uh, where it can be related to the crown chakra. Um, this, uh, any sort of, physically any sort of um, nerve issues or neurological issues or um, you know, any sort of tingling or anything like that, that usually has to do with the, uh, with the crown chakra. So, um, in certain in certain systems, there are other chakras that are included as well. I've heard of uh, a chakra above your head, um, sometimes called a, a soul star or a higher self chakra, uh, and that's you know that's kind of like you know obviously your highest self, uh, the person that you're stri striving to be and striving to work with, kind of kind of your soul or your spirit. And then I've also heard of um, an earth star chakra, which is uh, as you know as you as your root chakra grounds you, earth, earth star is kind of you connecting to the energy of the earth. So it's, it's like um, the earth, the, the root chakra times 10 kind of. And that's the same way it is with the soul star chakra. It's like crown chakra times 10, from, at least from what I can understand. But um, and the system I work with, or that I, I'm most familiar with, uh, there are the, the seven basic chakras. Um, again, that's root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, and crown. And uh, these aren't exactly chakras, but there are also uh, very strong energy centers in the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. Um, because again, that's, those are ways that we use to connect with people and, and pick up energies and, and let out energies. So, And, um, you know, chakras are just a, 
just a quick overview of, of the, the word itself, a chakra is, uh, it's basically another word for energy center. It comes from, uh, I believe, Sanskrit. And uh, even though um, it is a primarily um, Indian, like India Indian uh, methodology, uh, it is often used in, in other, other areas as well. Like the whole idea of prana, which is uh, energy in Sanskrit, or, or chi, like, uh, like you know, in, in Chinese and other Eastern, uh, other Eastern traditions, that all has to do with that, moving of your, the energy through your body. And the, the idea is that there are certain centers in your body that where the energy um, focuses or concentrates or is more likely to enter and exit. And, and of course, as, as we've just gone over, these correspond to different emotions and, and physical parts of your body and spiritual parts of your body. So, um, so yeah, so that's just a brief overview of uh, the chakra system. Um, like I said, uh, we're going to get a little bit more in-depth than that into the, in the future. But uh, for now, there's uh, just a little something for you to ponder. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. All right, bye.